What's going on guys, it's Corny from Scrolls for Hire. I wanted to bring out a deck profile of my Dino slash draw Light Sworn Zombie deck. I've been playing for quite a while now. I've been playing Light Sworn Zombie Dino for quite a bit. I profiled it back in um back a while back when I topped in Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Regional. Got 44th place with it. Um, because I gave my you know my friend the win. This is why I got bumped down a bit lower. He got 20th, so you know, shout out to you guy. Um, if you see this video, um, good job. But uh, also wanted to show y'all uh, a little replay that I got with the deck. It's unfortunately really hard to get replays with this deck because people usually just scoop the slash draw and you activate it. They just you know scoop out of the game or um, they see um, you know brilliant dot deck and they just you know scoop immediately. So it's really hard to get replays because people keep scooping all the time on YGO Pro. But I do have one replay that I was able to actually go all the way through the game with and slash draw for game. So I want to show that to y'all. So, so, to y'all. so uh, go ahead and check it out. And then we're going to get right into a deck profile. So see y'all in a second. Alright, so starting out with the, uh, the main deck, um, the ratios are a bit weird, so you know, tweak it to your liking however you want to, but it's a super fun deck. Sometimes you get the busted, sometimes it's just mill dot deck, and sometimes it's just tyranno dot deck, you know, however, you know, whichever route it happens, you know, happens. Sometimes you get the slash draw, sometimes you don't. So, uh, starting with the monsters, I play two Long Fire Blossom, and I don't play three because, like I said, the ratios in the deck are really weird because you have to fit in certain cards and I choose to play certain things but yeah but two long fire so obviously the predator engine um or for scorpio and the one cobra I don't play a second cobra um if I draw it I draw it it's so whatever it happens and then that's for the plant engine and then the zombie engine play three solitaires um and the one spirit master um for you know popping stuff with gold sark and also because if you draw these two, sometimes it's really good. And then you play two Yuna Zombie. Um, I don't play three. You would never play three unless you find like vampires. And then two Mizuki. Um, you don't want to draw this typically, so that's why you only, but you need more than one, so that's why you play two. But that's it for the zombie engine. And then you play two Raiden and two Wolf from the Light Sworn engine. Um, just because you don't want to open wolf, but you still want it to mill and be kind of busted and Raiden I don't want to see him that much. I would just draw him off a charge or search him off a charge. So that's really about it And he's a little fortuner. So That's it for the lice ones And then you got to play three of the busted girl fairy tale snow That's thank go. That's, that's thank girl. She's a uh, Still at three. So grass is banned rip um, but Yeah, now for the dinos uh, three over raptor standard uh, two Tyranno, he is the most busted structure deck boss monster ever. So we play two, and then uh, the one Kaiju Dog Run just because it's searchable and you know so get rid of problem cards. And the one Overtex, I only play one. I uh, was playing two in the uh, video, but I switched to one because I kept drawing it and not being able to ever use it. So uh, yeah, we switched to one and it works out a whole lot better. Yeah, we play two pills, but. It's, it's fine. Um, you usually end up drawing a pill most time anyway, and you could also search one off of, off of him. So and you can put certain cards back into your deck too with slash draw. So I'm um, playing the one and then the one giant Rex because Gold Sark. All right, and then the one ofs, um, Trick Clown, Hat Tricker, and Goblin Bird, just to be able to get stuff out of your hand, uh, like, like a dead wolf out of your hand. We st still play that. And uh, Royal Challenger Thousand Blades, just because of you know Trick Clown, and Gem Knight Garnet for the brilliant the, the brilliant combo or the brilliant fusion engine, of course, so just a one. Don't play two because if we draw it, we draw it. Oh well. Um, and then round the monsters, uh, three hand charms, just just three ash. Oops, I did that kind of weird. Sorry. Uh, yeah, just three ash. Uh, don't really care about any other hand traps. If I draw one, cool. If not, it's whatever. The base of the deck is really just to mill a bunch of cards. 
Some bunch of monsters beat the opponent down. So, yeah. Except for the monsters, though. On to the spell cards. We play uh, three of the Slash Draw. Um, if anyone knows what this card does, it's really, really retarded. I mean, it barely ever goes off, but it happens sometimes, and it's funny when it does. You discard a card, and then send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the number of cards your opponent controls, and then you draw a card and show it to your opponent. And if that card was Slash Draw, you send it to the graveyard and you destroy every card, as many cards available as possible. Then inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent for each of the cards that were destroyed and sent to the graveyard by that, you know, this card effect. And then if it wasn't Slash Draw, you shuffle cards from your graveyard into your deck equal to the number, equal to the number of cards sent from your deck to the graveyard. And you can only activate one per turn. So essentially it's, you, di you discard a card in your hand, which usually in this deck, most of you're gonna have a dead card in your hand. Discard a card, you mill cards. This is reliant on your opponent having cards on the field. So, but either way, you just, you mill two cards, you draw one, you reveal it, and you, oh well, you reveal it, that's fine. But if it's slash draw, you could, you know, could potentially kill your opponent right there. If it's not, you put some cards that you milled already back into your deck. So the way I see it, it's a, it's a fair card, it's even, except for the burn part, that's not fair. If it happens, it happens, and it's just, you know, game, but it rarely ever happens, like one out of, oh my gosh, it's, it, it's the, the ratios are really bad for how much it actually would happen. Math is hard, I don't know the actual like, percentage of how much it would actually happen in a 60 card deck, but I've done it at, mm, six times total, I think, so far. Um, but yeah, three size draw. Uh, three charge light brigade, you know, milling the deck, and then three solar recharge, just in case we draw that wolf. <laughs> or you don't want the Raiden, oh well. Start milling, you wanna start milling as fast as possible, that way if you activate your slash draw, you've got things to put back. And then of course, the brilliant fusions and then two gold sark uh, for two targets uh, spirit master and giant rex we play two fossil digs i want to play three but unfortunately uh, the only card i would be able to cut um would be probably the hat tricker more than likely so if wanna, i can cut the hat tricker for a third fossil dig i don't really rely on the dino engine too much in this deck but Tyranno is a good card. If I so happen to get it, then you know it happens. Um, two uh, pills, searchable off of Overtex. So I'm gonna play two. I don't wanna play three because I don't wanna draw it and not be able to use it. Uh, and one of them's Monster Born because it's broken. Soul Charge because it's busted. Rota to grab you your Goblin Bird or your Raiden. I think those are the only targets in the deck that you can grab actually. And uh, Foolish because you know dumping Snow and Wolf and this looks to the graveyard are always good. And then one desires because I usually, I don't like this card uh, in this deck at all. I, I played it before when I got a top back in Oklahoma and I played two, but I still, I didn't like it then. I don't like it now, but I play it just, I don't find, I ain't found a third card to put in there except for that fossil dig, but I wanted to play a draw card as well. So I, I said to Scrooge, put desires in, in there. But yeah, except for the main deck, you know, six card deck. And now to the extra deck. Uh, Seraphim Knight, Brilliant Fusion, obviously. Um, so you just, and Borload, because drawing cards are really good. It's really easy to make them in this deck, and Borload because he steals games. And we play Curious because, well, it's, like, it's a milling dot, well, Slice Warns deck, so you want to mill, so Curious. Um, also play the On the Clock Taker um, for OTKs. You know, Tyranno and this is broken. And then we play only two Nightmares, just Unicorn and Phoenix. We don't play Cerberus because this deck doesn't have a whole lot of problems dealing with monsters. And we got a searchable kaiju as well as, you know, Tyranno, as well as, um, you know, another a, a bunch of just cards that can just get rid of monsters, you know, pretty easily. Spirit Master pop things as well, Snow to put stuff based down. So, yeah, it doesn't have many problems with other cards. I would just, you know, do, do a back row. And then onto the Synchros, we play uh, Black Rose in case, you know, stuff happens. Um, Scarlet, because you still play Brain Punter for game, and it's a really good thing you know, to clear the board with in case. Uh, uh, if they don't have the, the nightmare board set up, and you can clear the board with this, and you can bait out there, you know, negates and whatnot. And the one Omega, because he's at one now, so, you know, that sucks. <laughs> and of course, you had to take out the um, Invoker and uh, Mrs. Radiant, because there's no point in having Mrs. Radiant if you don't have Invoker. So, you had to take that out, and we had to take out the second Omega. So, we had to cut three cards from this deck, so it really sucked. <laughs> And uh, on to the exceeds, 
Tornado Dragon for back row, you have to have this. I still play Amaterasu, because I think this card is really, really great in this deck. You can detach material, you know, some of the banished level 4 lower monster, and then on their turn you can add a hand trap that you banished off of snow back to your hand. It's still a really good card. Minerva, obviously in the middle. And then the last two cards to play are Lagia and Dolka. Because sometimes you need Lagia, sometimes you need Dolka. It just happens. And since you had to cut three cards from the deck, may as well add them in here. But the extra deck is very flexible. You, uh, you don't have to run Black Rose. You don't have to run Scarlight. Um, you don't have to run the Nightmare Packs if you don't want to. You don't have to run Underclock Taker. Um, but I would suggest you do run these. I mean, this obviously. Borload, I would suggest you run. So you just curious, curious. I would suggest you really run in the deck. And of course, Minerva, Antonio Dragon. Those are and th those are a must. But the and Omega, obviously. But the rest of them are very, very flexible. Um, but I do run, you know, Lagian Dolka in case because you have Giant Rex and Overraptor. So sometimes that can come up where you draw Overraptor with a Gold Sark and you can make one of these first turn and you know make some more plays or end on you know one of these with a number Link Monster or some more Negates. But yeah, that was it. A profile of uh, you know slash draw the deck or mill dot deck. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, and actually for the 200 and you know 50 subscriber mark. Um, we plan on doing a Q&A, so um, if y'all have any questions for us, you know, about the decks we play, about our lifestyles, you know, n nothing too personal. But if you have any questions for us, we'll be glad to answer them. Um, just leave them in the comment section below. And at the 250 subscriber mark, I'm going, we're going to do a Q&A um, video. Um, it'll be more likely between me, Josh, and Dan, more than likely. Um, Ash is not here with us anymore. So, um, but I can, if you want, if you have a question for him, I can definitely send him, get a message to him or call him and uh, get the answers for you if you have any questions for him. Um, but yeah, that was a dead profile. Uh, be sure to like the, oops, <laughs> knock, the knock the card over. Uh, be sure to like the video um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video with anyone and everyone that you think needs to see it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to see you all next time. Deuces.